Hi everybody. Today I'd like to share with you a design team project that I just finished. This was for Country Craft Creations and I used the Bow Bunny Genevieve collection. I love this. I was a little leery at first, but after looking through these papers and the embellishments, I was so impressed. This is such an awesome collection and so easy to work with. I love the blues and yellows. I think they stand out great with each other. And as I said, you get so much in this collection. There's ample amount of, of materials to make more than one project. So I do have plenty left over to make another project, which I will be doing a little bit later in the month. Um, but let me go over this one with you. Excuse the inky fingers. Um, I was doing a little bit touch up this morning. Um, I like to walk away sometimes and come back with fresh eyes and then go to it and see if there's anything I want to add to it. Also, excuse my voice, I'm a little raspy this morning. I don't know why, I haven't been talking that much. At any rate, let's get to it. This was a wooden cigar box. Um, I keep my eyes out at flea markets, antique shops, and I pick up cigar boxes. I like the different shaped ones, different size ones, um, so I have several. That's one of my favorite things to do is alter them and put mini albums inside. On the outside, as you can see, um, I did heavily, well, not heavily embellish because I think the papers are so beautiful. They stand out and they're, they're just, the graphics are so pretty on these. You really hate to cover up too much of it. I do have a metal bird. Everything on this um, design team project is using the Bow Bunnies Genevieve collection. Now the bird isn't. I did pick that up later. It is a metal bird. Um, I just thought that went along great with this theme as you'll see as we get a little bit further. This is a chipboard piece and it says you are beautiful. I popped that up and I also have it so it looks like the bird is holding this you are beautiful sentiment. Um, I have some yellow and white ribbon, very fine, and I did ink that. And I also created some flowers, and I used some yellow ribbon to thread through those, just to kind of bring a little bit more color to it and make some of the yellows pop. Um, these were all made from the collection, the papers in the collection. Um, again, I just, I absolutely love this project. I thought it was just so cool. Um, as you can see, it's got the little latch closure here. And what I did was I put yellow ribbon all the way around um, just for a little bit of, no, little embellishing all the way around. And I tied a little bow here on the end. And underneath there's a little tag, our little chipboard piece that says dream. And I have that popped up. On the bottom, um, I did use some wooden legs that I made and created. These are uh, little unfinished wooden pieces and I painted them with the midnight blue acrylic paint. And of course I have my handmade for you by Brenda Stamp on the bottom. So let's look inside and let me show you what I have. I love this. I just love, 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 love it. Let me move the camera up just a little bit so that we can get it all in. In focus. Well, I may have to move it around a little. On the inside of the lid, um, there is a stop here, and inside that stop, I have three tags, if you will. And these would be great to add small photos or to do some journaling. And this I thought would make a perfect bookmark. Um, this has the, the birds and the yellow and blue theme to it. And again, I thought this would make an excellent bookmark and it fits nicely right in the top of this lid. Look at the papers that I used on the inside of this lid. This is the bluebirds with the yellow and the blue. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this. So feminine, so pretty. The stop was also um, from the paper collection and what I did was I went ahead and cut that out. Um, there's several pieces that can be cut and there are some cut aparts that can be used. These stay nice and firm in the top of the lid so they're safely placed away. Okay and in the bottom, in the very bottom of the box, you open the ribbon and this is the mini album. 
this is the inside of the box. Again, you can see I've papered it all inside with the Bluebird pattern paper. Isn't that awesome? I just love this. I'm going to set this off to the side. And this is the mini album. What I've created to keep the mini album closed, let's get you in focus, um, I have a belly band. And it is magnetic or you can slide it off either way and I have the ribbon attached to the inside bottom that way it makes it easier to lift the album in and out of the box that was kind of an afterthought but after I did have that thought I thought man that's a good idea this is the album this is a mini album and again the papers in this collection are just so pretty so feminine beautiful I love this opening this album it really has a lot to offer what I have inside on the left is it's a small waterfall it's held in place and held closed by this ribbon that also slides off and these are nice sized little pages in the waterfalls these flip up and these flip up to reveal a pocket on the bottom underneath the waterfall and I have put um, the same way that I attached the waterfall on I made it a little bit fancier because I think this is just such a feminine project um, I did went ahead and used one of my Martha Stewart punches and gave it this floral lacy pattern and I also did the same thing across the front of the pocket and folded it over this is a little chipboard tag this is from the collection as well and I mounted that on this small pocket and inside these are the tags these uh, again these are cutouts from the collection and the buttons are also in that collection there's a lot of embellishments in this collection ladies this would be perfect to add a photo or use as a journaling spot either way there's plenty of space just as soon as I get back in and again another little bookmark or you could put this on the bottom of a photo or use it for a little bit of a journaling spot this is beautiful and it certainly does I think go well as a description for this line it is gorgeous I hope Tammy has stocked up on it because I think that it's going to sell pretty quick it's just so pretty on the inside of the spine what I did was I attached a small little clip and you can unclip this and again a cute little tag art can be a bookmark um, I don't know if you ladies are like to read I love to read bookmarks always come in handy and this would be a cute place to place one and know where it's at on the other side there's also a waterfall this one is a little bit more thorough a little larger a little longer you could put two four six eight ten twelve twelve photos on this waterfall and this waterfall I also have a belly band that's magnetic and then it has a handmade flower from the collection on the magnetic part that closes um, I did put one of the buttons with some of the embroidery floss and again this is all from that collection this is the bow bunny Genevieve this is the waterfall beautiful papers I just can't express enough how pretty these papers are and how beautiful the graphics and coloring is this waterfall flips up and underneath we also have another pocket this one's a little bit bigger and inside there's also another little booklet this one is a vertical booklet and it opens and you could write a nice sentiment inside notes do some journaling or you could add a photo here and then put some journaling about that photo it says dream and it has beautiful blue flowers on it underneath I also when I attached these I also wanted to make sure that it 
flowed nicely with the rest of the book. So I did again, I used the scrolly punch from Martha Stewart, the little lacy floral punch. And I went ahead and I finished off the pocket and the way that the waterfall is held down to give it just that extra pretty effect. So you can either slide this off and on, or like I said, you can, it's magnetized, so it's easy to use. Undo it, then simply just snap it right back on. I loved making this project. I thought this was just so sweet, and these papers are so pretty to work with. Um, I hope you guys will check it out. You can find all of these materials over at Country Craft Creations. Stop by, take a look, and I will also have some photos on my blog, and that's at um, Cross-Eyed Cricut Creations. And again, I will have links at the end of the video. Thanks for coming by, and please stop in again. Thanks so much.